Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set a prompt to buy a Game Pass. This isn't going to be giving any item, it's just going to be prompting the Game Pass purchase. Uh, if you'd like to also uh, skip ahead to just the script, then there's timestamps in the description. So what we're going to do is going to make the button. So we're going to go into Start GI, we're going to make a Screen GUI, and we're going to make a text button. I'm going to move it to wherever you want. I'm going to customize the text button, so I'm going to make it to this. I'm going to move that down like that. And then we're going to set box size pixel to zero, and then Patrick Hand, why not? And then we're going to do button as Game Pass of Epicness, okay? Um, Oh no, I'm just gonna do Game Pass. Game Pass. Um, and I would, what I would do is make it whatever your Game Pass name is. So, yeah. And then inside the text button, you're gonna add a local script. You're gonna take away Print Hello World, and we're gonna come onto Google Chrome into your game, and we're going to come here under the cog. I'm going to do Create Game Pass, and you're going to create a Game Pass with its file. So I'm going to have to blur this, and I'm going to grab this one, and we're going to name it, uh, whatever the Game Pass is, so Game Pass, oh, Game Pass for luck or something, I don't know, Game Pass for luck, and then you're going to preview, and you're going to verify the upload, and then to make uh, it, you know, purchasable, you're going to come to the cog, you're going to click configure, you're going to go to sales and you're going to do item sale. You're going to do set price to whatever price you would like. Click save and then go back to details. And then you see here this is the game pass, game pass for luck. And you're going to come up to here to your game pass ID. So whatever it is in the URL, that's going to be what we're going to put in here. And then you're going to come back to Roblox Studio and you're going to type in local ID equals and then paste in your ID. And then we're also going to do some local players, a player equals game dot players <laughs> what the hell game dot players dot local player and then local marketplace service equals uh, game colon get service uh, marketplace service so basically this is just defining variables so ID this is the game pass ID this is just defining the player, and then this is the marketplace service, just to make it, you know, kind of shorter for us to write inside the script. So now we're going to get onto the actual script. Uh, we're going to do script dot parent uh, dot mouse button one click colon connect uh, function like that. And then the next line is going to be marketplace service colon prompt game pass purchase player ID so that is the script itself so let me just run this down for you a bit script or parent don't mouse button one click colon connect function that's just when the script parent which is text button when that gets one click then it's going to connect with the function and then it's going and then it's going to function and then it's going to go marketplace service uh, which is this one here so we'd have to type that out if we didn't do it up here and then you're just going to prompt the game pass purchase player ID and so now if we come over to test it load you click game pass and it's going to prompt you. I already own the Game Pass, but you see it's going to prompt you anyways. So if you don't own the Game Pass, it will prompt you for the Game Pass purchase. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.